Hey, how y'all doing? Curdy Cool is back on the scene, y'all. Oh, yeah. Hello to all my friends, my fans, all the great people out there who is tuning in to Curdy Cool, the online investigator, baby. Hey, the name of my show today is AJ Armstrong is back and was back in the news once again, y'all. Oh, they are talking about another pre-hearing for AJ Armstrong in January, y'all. I mean, his attorney was talking about he still believed that somebody else was in the house, yo. What, what? What they trying to say? Allege. Are they really trying to say Josh could have been in that house? What, what, what? What's really going on around here? You know what I mean? You know, I was like this. If AJ said he was standing upstairs and he saw a masked man in the house, now AJ, at 16, you said you was the man of the house. You mean to tell Curdy Cool if you saw a masked man in the house? You could not see how tall he was. Come on now, AJ. Come on. If it was somebody else in the house, baby. Why didn't the garage door go up, baby? Why didn't somebody put a key in the front door lock and open the door, y'all? Why didn't, why didn't somebody, y'all, hear somebody going out the back side door? Or why didn't somebody hear somebody jump out the window? Or why didn't somebody? Oh, that's right. We got this little hideaway escape plan over here, y'all. Why didn't nobody hear none of the above? Hey, y'all, Curdy Cool, the online investigator. I get straight to the point, straight through the red tape, baby, and straight on this little case, y'all. The online investigator, can't nobody play on Curdy Cool, baby. Let me, let me, let me tell you something. Nobody can't play on Curdy Cool, baby. Oh, AJ is 22 years old. Seems like he's growing up to be a pretty fine young man, you know. Now that he have the responsibility, what well, with a son, he 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 gave his uh son name named named him after his father. <laughs> I mean that's cool in a sense, you know. You know what I mean? But my thing was this, yo. All this stuff is going on. And you decide to have a family, make a baby, and all of this stuff going on. And your kid, what if they allege find you guilty, AJ? And your son got to live with that. The baby mother has got to live with that. The grandmother has got to live with that. All your family members has got to live with that, y'all. All I know, the world feel like there should be some justice because this case has been dragged out for so long, y'all. So the pre-hearing is supposed to be sometime in in January, and uh, hey, I can't wait, Curdy Cool can't wait, yeah, to see what is going to be the outcome of this little case, yeah. I mean, it's, it's just a whole lot of strange ties, strange 
so so coincidentally the note on the kitchen counter table now whoever scribbled whoever scribbled that note from my understanding it was someone who was pretty much around about 15 or 16 years old you know scribbled that note and put it on the countertop why was this genius Whoever, whoever it was that used AJ's father's weapon decided to wipe the weapon down and lay it on the countertop table and then scribble a little note saying we are watching you on the counter table. Y'all know what I mean? Now AJ says he Sees a wise man in the house. You mean to tell Curdy Coop you could not see the height of this masked man? You mean to tell Curdy Coop you could not see which way he went? Hey, Jake, come on, man. You trying to play on Curdy Coop? This little online investigator, they call me Curdy Cool, baby. Because I get right to the cool, nitty, gritty, baby. You can't pull nothing on smooth, cool, Curdy Cool, baby. Now, let's get to the bottom of this one more time. So now you got your baby, you got your son, you seem, you seem like you done, you done grew up. Hey, I applaud you on that for stepping up to be a father and, and want to be in your son's life. You know, you know that is so cool when a man step up to want to be a father to his kid. You know what I mean? Like in Curry Cool's life, I wanted to be a father to my kid. But this crazy adopted grandmother, Patricia Robinson, and the crazy baby mother, they put a little twist into my little situation and made everything complicated, y'all. I mean, when they got their child support and I left California to get myself together, y'all, they put a new twist into the step, baby. And then they hide out with the baby. Now, a father over here who wants to to be a father and step up to the plate to be a father. That Patricia Robinson, y'all, that's why you guys see me every chance I get. I talk about my true story about that scam artist, Patricia Ann Robinson, out in Marina Valley, California. Hey, y'all. Baby. Scammer. I'm going to get back on this AJ story here. Y'all check this out. Now. Another video that I had made about this Patricia Robinson scam artist, y'all. Baby. Scammer. <laughs> you know, it's the one with the uh, with the song that I made about the grandmother baby scam, trifling mothers and the Van Dick grannies can't stand to see a father. You know, step up to the plate in business handling. You know what I mean? So anyway, it was that particular video. I posted my video, y'all. Three hours later, y'all. Now I knew, I know for a fact that it had to be either Patricia Robinson or the baby mother, y'all. Y'all check this out now. So I get a message in my comments. 
And guess what it is, yo? They sent a link with a virus and malware to try to mess up my computer, yo. They thought Curdy Cool was so stupid to just click on this link and get hacked and get his computer totally destroyed. Y'all 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 think Curdy Cool is stupid or what? The online investigator, y'all. So I'm like checking this out now. What? On the page that these fools created, they didn't have no, no subscribers, no views, no nothing, just a blank fake YouTube page. And they send just a link on it to Curdy Cool in the comment section on this particular video with a link to be hacked with a bad, bad virus, yo. Anytime you guys see any kind of link, somebody send you through a comment or through a message, do not click on that link, baby. So all I did was I just copied, copied it and pasted into Google search. Oh, that is a hack link. That is malware link. That is a virus link. Somebody is trying to get your page shut down with a bad, bad virus. So they, they thought they could play on Curdy Cool, but y'all y'all see see where I'm going with this. Sometime as a father, you step up to be a father and do everything under the sun. To be a father and it's mothers out here and grandmothers out here who totally destroys everything and they are so corrupted in their mind that they have lost all natural humane instincts about life y'all so these people they out here scamming Baby. Gamba. <laughs> I can say one thing. I'm taking care of my daughter. And it is what it is. You guys may feel like that you guys won, but it don't matter to me because God sees my heart and my daughter sees my heart. So I say this, AJ, I, I, I pause you for standing up and being a father and hopefully you can keep it together as a father coming from Curdy Cool. Now, if you can prove different, AJ, that it wasn't you. But then that, that would be so cool, like, smooth and cool, like, curly cool, baby. And you can maintain and take care of your kid if you are found innocent. You know what I mean? But anyway, I say this. People is telling curly cool is still so many fingers pointing at AJ. And they are really, really concerned about that. How, how he gonna get out of that? Like they talking about they lost a few little small pieces of evidence. I think they got more than enough to see what's going on. That just Curdy Cool the online investigator opinion. I mean, you was playing around with the weapon in your, in your room. You shot up, what, two or three times in the room? You was angry and upset because you couldn't drive that, that badass ride to Galveston, Texas to hang out with everybody and see your pretty little girlfriend, y'all. Yeah, and get to, and and get with your girlfriend. You were so highly upset. I'm telling it. I'm telling it the way it is. From the good, the bad, and the sad. You wanted to. Get out there and show out 
with your pretty little girlfriend. Yeah, and do your thing, but your folks, they was not going for that. Oh, your grades are not up. Oh, you're smoking weed and marijuana in the house and all over the place. You don't have no respect for your parents. We want some discipline around here for you to stay in school, you know, make good grades and and act right and do the right thing in your life, baby. Somehow all this stuff kind of come down in a sense. Well, well, alleged AJ was upset about the way his parents was disciplined him. Isn't that a strange situation, y'all? How some kids think that they can think outside of the box when their parents are disciplining them. You in my house. I am raising you up, bringing you up, trying to teach you and install into your little mind, you know, all the correct paths and ways and, and the correct way in life so that you could be a better man, a better better daughter or whatever, you know, to do all the right things. But see, most parents have to teach the kids in which the way that they should go, you know, to be with love and peace and happiness and, and not hate on people and not create a whole lot of problems, y'all. Just be a good, genuine, smart person with a genius mind to, to want to succeed in this world. And by the time when you turn 18, baby, you got all kind of scholarships and you are going to be the best thing since sliced iced tea, baby. You know what I mean? But it wasn't going that way for AJ. So, in my situation, that's all Curdy Cool wanted to do, y'all. I wanted to be in my kid life. I had set it all out on the red carpet, y'all. Going through the court system. I go to Houston to get myself together. Oh, that scam artist, y'all. Patricia Ann Robinson. Oh, she goes back into the court system, y'all. Fighting against a father. Trying to adopt my daughter without my consent. Just screw up everything, make all kind of false claims with the DA. I mean, that Patricia Robinson, y'all. Baby. Scammer. <laughs> Baby. Scammer. <laughs> So you guys see Curtis Cool talking about his true story about this scam artist Patricia Robinson. She all over my page, y'all. I've been talking about this stuff going on 15 years about this scam artist Patricia Ann Robinson. I do not see how some psychopaths, y'all, can live with themselves, can do all this crazy stuff. To good innocent people, yo. And then pretends that life is all about them. Don't have a heart. What you did? You screwed up a whole lot of people's lives out here. And you are only concerned about yourself. So what does that call that type of person, yo? A narcissist? A psychopath? You screw up somebody else's life and you are heartless. You don't have no heart about what you did and how you destroyed all these people's lives and you walking around out here playing the innocent role. Y'all know what I mean? Playing the victim role when you knew everything that was going on out there. Oh, Lord, I told y'all I, I was going to talk about everything. Curtis Cool, the online investigator, y'all. I have to kind of paint the picture so that folks can see this thing just the way it is, y'all. Curtis Cool, y'all. 
So, hey, it was real cool to see AJ, you know, with his with his little new new son, you know, on, on television. Looking like he's a real proud father, y'all. That's the way I was. Looking like a real proud father. Oh my. Oh my baby. Oh my baby girl. I'm, I'm gonna set the best example I possibly can, y'all. Soon as that baby came, y'all, all oh, hell broke loose. Oh grandma had a new attitude. Baby. Gamma. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma pulled out some tricks out of her bag, y'all, and just screwed everything up, y'all. So I have to. Talk about my little old story included right in with this AJ story, yeah. I hope they come on with the come on, baby. Because of, because a whole lot of people and family members of AJ's family, they want to know the truth. They want to know what happened. AJ, you, you can be mad at everybody for talking about this stuff. But it is what it is. You, you already involved into this. And people are going to talk, y'all. I talk about stuff like this because it's not right, y'all. For people to destroy other people's lives. To just destroy other people's lives. Who brought you into this world. Now you got folks destroying people's lives. Do y'all think that's right? Could you live with yourself? If you if you think you can live with yourself, I mean, if you think that you can screw other people's lives up and mess them all up and don't have any feelings about it and then turn around and play, play the victim role, it's really something wrong with you. I don't see how anybody could just go around town and just play the victim role and don't have a heart for what they did. So AJ was in the house. You mean to tell Curtis Cool that you could not tell the investigators how tall this person was that you say you saw a masked man? You cannot tell the investigators which door they went out. You could not tell the investigator that if it was somebody in the house that he went out the garage. You can't tell nobody nothing. So how that's making you look pretty bad, AJ? You got to tighten up your story, baby. People is like, okay, you're saying one thing, but can you prove it, baby? Can you prove it? Well, I saw a masked man, you know what I mean? Alleged, I saw a masked man in the house. Now, we don't know if AJ is just making this up, y'all. Y'all leave your comment below and tell the world how you feel about this. Do y'all feel like AJ made that up, talking about he saw a masked man walking around in the house, y'all? The masked man had your father's weapon. But you saw a mad man in the house. This mad man just walked into the house like a ghost, y'all. Oh, I got an idea here. I want to tiptoe up to the to the second floor here, and I want to just hook a little. Let's see, let's see, little sis over here, mom and dad's over here to the right. I'm going to just tip up. Oh. He's on by the Armstrongs, y'all. Real slick and real smooth and cool. And and look and reach down into the little, the little nice den and grab his weapon. Ha, ha, ha. I got it all now, baby. Now, now, 
Let's 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 see let's see which one I'm gonna get first. Let's see which one I'm gonna get first. Oh oh, I'm gonna get Miss Armstrong first because she the one who was talking bad to, to AJ. I'm gonna get her first, and then I'm gonna get the father. Y'all y'all see what I'm saying? So after all this stuff went down, whoever it was just tipped down, back down the stairs. AJ didn't hear nothing. Or was it alleged AJ? So he so he go down the stairs, y'all. Yeah. Wipe down the weapon. Or he had gloves on. Oh. Uh, I think I'll just wipe it down, baby. Put the weapon on the counter table. Now, all of a sudden, coincidentally, I got a little old note I want to scribble up here, baby. I want to, I want to scribble up this little note now. We are watching you. And lay it on the table right along with the weapon. <laughs> but that would throw a monkey into the show, baby. Now... Let's see what I got to do here now. <laughs> Clean up, straighten up a little bit. The ledge. Let's see. Let's see. Let me, let me allow myself 30 minutes before I call the cops. Let me, let's see, let's see what I'm going to do. Make sure I got myself all wiped up, wiped down. Let's see. I'll go back upstairs, yeah. Get in my closet and act like I'm hiding out in the closet. Now, you're supposed to not know what's going on, baby. But, coincidentally, you go back up to the third floor. To your room, AJ. And you get in your closet and you're hiding out, baby. I think it's somebody. I think it's somebody in the house, you know. Is that making sense, y'all? Hey, y'all, uh, Curtis Cool, I told y'all I was going to bring out all this stuff. Wise guy, what happened to the masked man? I understand your, your folks and your grandmother and your grandfather and everybody loves you. They are putting out a whole lot of money, you know, to, to try to get AJ out of this. But what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong, you know. There's people out here, y'all, who support a whole lot of Wicked, wrongful things out here, y'all, and play the and play the victim and just go along with the system, y'all. You know what I mean? Like this crazy adopted grandmother, Patricia Robinson. This woman know what she did to Curdy Cool, y'all, but this woman is playing the victim role. Baby scammer. <laughs> <laughs> and it's only all about money and what she can get out of the deal this woman ain't no blood no kin no nothing just destroy everybody has lost touch with human humane yo about this is the father this man is the father to his kid over here and destroys all that mess up the baby mother mind now play the victim role yeah y'all see what i'm saying there's some crazy people out here y'all psychos their mind just twisted baby i told y'all curtis cool the online investigator was Gonna talk about this little old situation, baby. Hey, Jay, you out there listening. You in the news once again, baby. I can't wait until they come on down with it, baby. And solve this little case. So that your folks can, can rest in peace, baby. And say, once again, Kurt the Cool was on the case. Once again, the online investigator, Curtis Cool, was talking about this stuff. And now finally, 
All this stuff comes out, y'all. Now you folks can rest in peace. It's got to go back to court. And it's got, it's got to be, it's, you know, somebody's got to answer to this of what happened to the Armstrong. Just the bottom line. And a whole lot of people just want to know. You know what I mean? Everybody wants to know out here. I think even AJ's attorney want to know, but you, you just got to go along with it and play the attorney and, you know, do your part. You know what I mean? But this stuff got to come out. The real truth. What happened? Hey, y'all, Curdy Cool. The online investigator is back again. I'm going to end this little show, y'all, with peace, love, and happiness. You guys out there tuning in to Curdy Cool, peace and love, baby. Y'all y'all keep on doing what is right. You guys keep on, you know, doing the right thing in your life. You guys, please play it safe and wear your mask out here. Because I heard about that new virus, y'all, that's... That, from Colombia somewhere, they call it the Mu virus. I think they said that it's not really no cure for that one. Oh, wow. I said that a long time ago. Before this thing get any better, it's going to get worse, y'all. I'm, I'm telling you, y'all. I, I personally feel like it's some kind of curse. On this world, y'all. There's just too many corrupted people out here, y'all. Doing all this crazy stuff. To, to good innocent people out here. There's good people out here pretending to be Christians. And when they're not. And they're destroying other people's lives. Hurting other people. And messing other people up, y'all. This is all over the place, y'all. This is all you see. Turn on the hell of vision. You see it all, baby. You hear it all. All over, all around the world, baby. It, it just appears to curry cool like this world is being cursed. And, oh, Lord, it just appears to curry cool like, oh, Lord. This world is winding down, baby. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to end this show, y'all. I'll save that for the next show. I'm leaving you guys with peace, love, and happiness. You guys take care. Fathers out there, you guys step up and be fathers. No matter what, you continue on being a father, AJ. And hope and pray that nobody do you with your kid the way them scammers did me with my kid, y'all. I was just like AJ, holding my little baby, y'all. And them scammers waited, y'all, until they got me in a position. Baby. Scammer. <laughs> Baby. Scammer. <laughs> they scammed me, y'all. Messed my life up. Once they got everything situated in their favor. You never know how this is going to go, AJ. Just wish for the best and try to do the best. I was wishing for the best, trying to do the best, doing the best, the best that I could be with the best. And all my little parade just come marching down. When that crazy adopted grandmother, y'all, just stepped into the picture, y'all have fell a lamb. Baby. Scammer. <laughs> Baby. Scammer. <laughs> Slam. Mess me up, then run and hide out, baby, and play the victim role. 
You know who you are, Patricia Rothman. That dirty, low-down scammer. The babies scammer, y'all. Baby scammer. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to you guys next time. Cody, Cody, Gertie, cool. Okay, bye.